Hi, my name is Marcus from Tuning Bikes. Today, I will demonstrate on Formula R1 brakes how you can bleed your Formula brakes using our bleed kit. You'll find everything you need in our kit. One Torx T10 key for opening the locking screw on your brake lever and brake caliper. Two connecting nozzles for the bleed port. Two syringes for handling the brake fluid and the brake fluid. In this case, either .4 or .5.1. These fluids can be mixed together. Dot 5.1 has a slightly higher boiling point. You can find more information about these fluids on our homepage, www.tuning-bikes.de. The first thing to do is to remove the wheel, which we've already done for the video. Then, with the brake pads still installed, push the brake pistons completely back into the caliper body, preferably using a plastic object. After that, remove the brake pad retaining screw. You can then remove the brake pads by sliding them out of the caliper. The next step is to block the brake pistons. You can do so using the transport device. Just slide it in between the pistons. Or, if you don't have the transport device, you can use something else with a similar width, for instance, a 10mm hex key. This secures the brake pistons in place and ensures that they can't move during the bleeding process. Now you need to place the brake lever in a position such that the bleed screw is the highest point in the system. But this step is not necessary for Formula R1 brakes, because in the initial setup the bleed screw is already at the highest point. Next up, filling one of the syringes with DOT fluid. Do be aware that DOT fluid is an irritant and should not come in contact with your eyes or skin. We therefore recommend wearing gloves. When filling your syringe, some air is bound to enter. Remove the air by holding the syringe with the opening facing upwards and lightly depressing the plunger. If you're bleeding on your own, this trick may help make the whole process a bit easier. You can attach a broomstick or the like to your fork and handlebars with zip ties. Then, attach the brake lever to the broomstick and the syringe right above with elastic bands or anything that is certain to hold it in place. That way, you don't need anyone to help hold the syringe. Now it's time to remove the locking screw from the brake lever using the Torx T10 key supplied with the kit. Then go ahead and screw on the empty syringe to the brake lever and secure it to the broomstick. We'll do the same thing on the brake caliper, but this time take the syringe filled with brake fluid and screw it into the bleed port. Now you can depress the plunger of the bottom syringe to push the fresh brake fluid into the system. This automatically pushes the excess fluid into the top syringe. Once the top syringe is full, remove it from the brake lever. Dispose of the old dot fluid and fill it up with fresh brake fluid. Make sure there is no air in the syringe. Then, screw it on to the brake lever once again. Now the other way around. Depress the plunger of the top syringe, thereby pushing fresh brake fluid into the system. Then remove the syringe right away.
and close off the port on the brake lever. Lastly, remove the bottom syringe from the brake caliper and quickly close off the bleed port with the locking screw. Clean up the caliper a bit so that no brake fluid comes into contact with the brake pads. Now remove the transport device or other securing device. Reinstall the brake pads and screw in the pad retaining screw. After you've reinstalled the front wheel, you should have a solid pressure point again, and the bleeding process is complete. I hope our instructions were easy to follow, and you are ready to hit the trails. Enjoy!